Welcome back to GearWire.com. We are looking again at the Shack Audio Technologies Quad version 2.0 DJ software. This is similar to Tractor and Serato. Uh, has a little less in-computer scratch functionality compared to the other two more popular programs, but this does have a lot to offer that the other two don't. For example, let me show you this real quick. I'm going to play uh, this remix. Check out what happens when I turn on the effects. I've got the switch here very similar to the setup on a Pioneer mixer. Now notice how you don't hear anything right now. Let me uh, hit pause. That's because this is set to main. I want to switch this over to the channel where I want the effect to play. Now let's play that back again. Now you hear it. Notice how if I switch over to one, no effect, back to two, we have the flanger. Now the way the effects are set up here is you have a depth control and a mix control. Mix is your dry wet signal, so when it's set all the way to the left, you're listening to the dry signal. When it's all the way on the right, you're hearing the completely wet effect signal. So let's play that back and you can see what I'm talking about. No effect in dry mode, but over to wet, we get the full flange. Pausing again for a second, we also have a depth control. This controls the depth of the effect. Play it back. And move it back over to the right. Now I can also tap the tempo of this effect. Right now it's at 60 BPM. I can take it up to uh, as fast as I want, really. Right now we'll have it at 204. Let's see what that sounds like. And get even crazier. 496 BPM. And then we have effect speed right here. This is a really rough way of doing it. But here the flanger get faster and faster as I do that. And now the track is barely listenable. So moving on, I'm going to show you how to use some of these other effects. We have a phaser that comes included with this program. And let's take that speed back down so it's a little less annoying. It's a popular effect among trans DJs. Turn that off real quick. We also have the echo. Turn this on. Oh, now here's an interesting turn of events. Notice how we're getting no signal. And it took a second for it to come back. Now notice how you can set the speed of the echo as well. And you can also map it to your main tempo block of the track you're playing. Delay works the same way. Also, we have LFO filter. And that sweep can be sped up and slowed down as well. We have tremolo. And I can speed this up to get a really good idea of how this effect works. We can take the depth down to give it a better sound. There you go. Switch over to the clock. We have pan control, which pans the signal from left to right, and reverb. Now one standard control that appears on almost any mixing interface you'll ever see that I didn't mention yet is the equalizer. Notice that we have three kill switches, a bass kill, mid kill, and high kill. And we can also control the low frequency and then the low mid and high mid using these knobs and also the high. We can have a uh, separate filter control apart from the LFO filter that we saw earlier that allows me to sweep this signal however I want. You can also adjust the high, mid, and low settings of the filter and switch over to SVF as well.
Well, that was the Shack Audio Technologies Quad version 2.0 software. This, is, again, is a competitor to the Tractor Scratch and Serato softwares. Now, one of the advantages, of course, is that this is cheaper. A disadvantage is that you cannot scrub audio within relative mode. However, in absolute mode with control vinyl, you can do live scratching. So on that end, it is significantly more affordable, uh, although we, I have not demoed the actual control vinyl with this piece of software yet. So that has yet to be seen as to how well it works given that application. But for now, I'm Bill Holland, and you have been watching GearWire.com. Take a look at the first video if you want to see how to do basic setup.